Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is again going to be from New York City Land, Starcon, upper, sorry, 12 o'clock location, Gypsy, starting as the blue turn, bottom right hand corner. We have Raz, this is on Neo Sylphid, and if you did not catch game one, it was a really fun match between the two. I think Raz had opportunities actually to take it. He was, I, I have to say, uh, Raz is one of those guys who puts his opponents on the back heel. He's really good at mixing it up. Rhymes with Jazz, and that's always what I think of Raz and Jazz. He's actually really impressed me with, not just here, but if you guys have not already checked it out, by the way, every other Sunday, or at least several Sundays coming up, there's been the North American Pro League, which I think actually was birthed out of the success of the Starcon LAN. And there have been really, really fun matches. Raz has really impressed me with this play lately. And I also have to say, he's a, he's a cool dude. Met him in person. He's really fun. Bought him a drink. Um, one of those guys that it's like, I wish I had more time to party with him or just sit down and because he's just, he's got that energy. You know what I'm talking about? One of those guys where his foot's always bopping and always ready to go and do stuff, actually. And he actually performed really well considering how hard he partied the night before, both him and Nesh. I'm very impressed with their play considering, <laughs> considering the night before they were extensively rocking it. So anyway, Gypsy, arguably the best player in the foreign scene behind Bonneth and, well, let me, want, where would I put this actually? Certainly Bonneth and DeWalt, number one and two. Maybe I put Zeki above Gypsy. Zeki arguably number four though, potentially, when he's in really, really good shape. He's definitely currently, most people would say the best player in North America, although officially Hawk holds that honor out of BSL season 15 and as well as other, uh, other standings. Hawk has been a little bit out of practice. So I hear as of late, looks like we're, ooh, look at this, Raz. I'm surprised he chose Neo Sylphid, a three player map, and decided to go for the 12 Nexus here. I would have expected him to go for one of the myriad of four player maps to try to execute this on. In the meantime, Gypsy is going to be in a great opportunity to respond to this. He's already got the three SCV on gas. He's building that first Marine, and he's going to get first scout on Raz overall. So this is going to be... So it's up to Gypsy to execute, and honestly, that's something that Gypsy, as far as just heads-up scenarios, does better than nearly any other Terran that I see these days, is he's just very, very good at the solid, just straight-up solid execution of build orders, top to bottom. And so Raz, I think this would have worked better on a different map. Very, very risky to go with it. It looks like he's going to follow it up with a, a tr an attempt at a forge defense. Raz scouting bottom left, now going to shift around, try to, ooh, is able to slip that probe in. A marine already marching on the way. So we got two marines already out there. It looks like a probe was able to get the SCV kill, but it's going to be a while before the initial zealot and cannons are up. So now some probes and zealots going to march off the line. A marine already starting to work on the forward pylon. A couple probes migrating that direction. The first zealot gonna push that marine back, allow that first cannon to be constructed as well. And we already have a machine shop and a factory and a second factory underway. Actually a machine shop cancellation from Gypsy and a second factory. Interesting, so it looks like he doesn't wanna go for necessarily a kill maneuver. Potentially, upon seeing that cannon drop and especially seeing the zealot march across the field, maybe because this initial marine took significant damage, able to kill that probe, the zealot staggering, just keeping the marines back. It looks like Gypsy instead wanting to go for some quick vulture play, maybe to just seal Raz into two bases and play from there. So now turning around with a little bit of a later machine shop, I'm wondering what the cancellation, now I'm curious what the cancellation to get the additional gas was for overall. Pile of Marines here. It's certainly going to... Okay, so I, I take back everything. That might have just been an accident, uh, accidental ca uh, cancellation where I was praising Gypsy for execution before. We'll have to see overall. So Marines down... Uh, I'll have to review the replay to see precisely what was happening there. Siege tank, siege tech, a slew of Marines behind this. So we've already got six, only one of them heavily damaged. Only one cannon defending on the front. As has that natural expansion running, and he's tossing three additional gateways to follow this, but I don't think he's gotten Dragoon range yet, and he's only relying on a single cannon and a Zealot to defend the front in the meantime. So first Siege Tank out, I believe this is going to be like old school, old school, just let the Siege Tank tank the cannon down and then flood in with everything else play. A couple of SCVs pulling down the line just to keep that Siege Tank alive. 
And Raz, as far as a follow-up, is kind of the problem with going Nexus first and getting scouted. He's got the four gateways, but just now starting range. Two Zelts and a Dragoon are going to be a hard push through a Vulture and multiple Marines. And you're going to have that Siege Tank with two SCVs to help repair it to take down that cannon, at which point it is going to be a flood of units from there. Might be a window here because Raz does have these four gateways coming online. So if he can just hold on, potentially get some additional units out. Looks like he's dropping another cannon at the natural. He might be able to follow this up. But very quick and perfect positioning there from Gypsy. Just needs to, have, uh, just needs to be very careful with this follow-up. Dropping a bunker on the front. The cannon's not up. Again, Raz playing it very, very light. So that cannon not even going to be a factor. So now Raz engaging with probes, with zealots. Vulture's doing a great job of blockading that SCV. It looks like that bunker... Is that SCV going to get taken out? Siege tank is gone. Probe's still bleeding out on the front. Bunker does tap and get finished. Three Dragoons now pushing up. Four Dragoons now pushing up. So the bunker is complete. The Marines are able to get in, but there's no SCVs to repair. Mines dropped on the front. An additional Photon Cannon was completed. So that's going to negate some of the mines on the front. But there's only two Dragoons remaining. But it looks like Raz actually defended this. So we got the bunker up. That's not in range of the Nexus, but that's plenty defense for that siege tank. It looks like that bunker's slowly burning behind this. Some mines, and that's going to cut off that natural expansion for Raz, which with the four gateways puts him somewhat all in as far as production. That's basically max, max production if you're going to keep it up. Raz still holds the worker lead, but needs to go through at least three mines, three marines in that siege tank to recapture his natural expansion. Going to let that zealot try to lead the way, get that mine drag into that siege tank, does get the mine drag, and the follow-up shot's able to clear it. Nice execution on Raz's part. Now, continuing to push out to the front. Gypsy behind this, grabbing his own natural expansion. But Raz has managed to hold against Gypsy's turnaround attack. And I'm wondering how much, uh, how significant a factor that machine shop cancellation early was. And what was happening there? Maybe it was a supply block and wanting to get an su additional supply depot down. But could have been the difference there. Zealot. Looking to mine clear the way up. Raz actually still playing very, very aggressive. So he's, now he's got the four gateways. He's actually got a decent, healthy probe count. Range is finished. Robotics facility on the way. Gypsy still looking for ways to peek in to maybe get to that probe line. Is able to get a single vulture in between. Well, let's see if the probes are able to defend himself. He's going to be able to spot the robotics facility. Working on clearing out the probes mining gas. Slow down the higher tech. He's able to at least get three kills, it looks like there. But this is also giving an opportunity for Raz to follow up that right-hand side to maybe get more aggressive against these vultures. But instant re-maneuver there from Gypsy. Beautiful reflex to pull the vultures back. He's got some mines in the way. Engineering Bay is going to help provide some clutter. So we got a slew of mines and some siege tanks behind it. And Raz taking some free shots. Also, these three vultures have been able to sneak through point A and point B. So Raz, once again, in a good position for the follow-up, but Gypsy doing a lot of things to get back into this. So now you have two Dragoons trying to race their way back. And all of that solid defense now starting to erase for Raz. He's going to end up losing several probes to these vultures because of the aggression on the follow-up, which is unfortunate. Beautiful assassination of probes. And now Gypsy, all of a sudden with the worker lead, has that natural expansion up and running, has some mines to the forward front, and might be in a position to take a lead here in this mid game. Is going to get some more mine coverage. Granted, supply lead still in Raz's favor, but taking a big hit right there. Does have the observatory and observer out. Looks like he's, he's wondering if this is going to be tech right here. Is venturing out a probe to maybe sneak an additional base? Those vultures definitely not going to allow that to happen. So nice aggression from Gypsy with the vultures to follow things up. This is also off just two factories. Has dropped double machine shop to make sure he gets plenty of siege tanks to defend as far as the follow-up. Missile turret down just in case there's a robotics, uh, robotics facility press. And beautiful play here from Gypsy immediately seeing upon seeing that probe trying to migrate out and potentially grab a third. Did that? Looks like that was in fact taken out. Able to send vultures down, get some mines in place to deny that third for as significant a period of time as possible and definitely getting big indicators, yeah, that Raz is in fact thinking about going up to three bases and again able to slip some vultures at the natural expansion. 
Raz still hasn't been able to recover that probe count. I'm wondering if he's missing, I'm not sure if he's missing any worker cycles behind the micro here or not. Supply capped himself right to second. This might be tournament nerves overall, but this is also giving opportunities for Gypsy to surge back. So right now, Raz with a big worker lead. Let's see if he can finally, the, Gypsy has been so, so slippery, keeping these vultures active all over the map. To not cede map control to Raz, where he was able to get the Dragoon containment on that natural, if he was able to do so, honestly, that might have been match. So instead, Raz now wandering up, finally going to grab his additional base. Missed a couple pylons right there, so slowed his economy down, dropping additional gateways. Looks like he want, maybe wants to play it Robo or a more shuttle heavy Reaver Man style. Observer going to walk all the way up to the front to try to see what's going on. A healthy siege tank count out for Gypsy. Raz sneaking around the corner. It looks like there might have been a canceled factory. Starport to get that plus two weapons. Looks like shuttle speed also upgrading behind this. So it's going to be three factories, which leads me to believe that Gypsy is going to try to play a little bit more aggressively uh, in the economic front to try to grab. He is getting that control tower maybe to get a dropship behind this. I'm always wondering about that. But second armory dropping, This is uh, he's already got plus one weapons. I think he's going to try to play for an in... Yeah, there's the command center. Can actually finally spit it out. Wants to go ahead and move up and play to three bases right here. Maybe go for the longer 3-2 play. Especially, he's got the overall worker lead at least for the moment. Raz is going to have a faster third. But this is... And Raz has about a 20 supply lead. But this is certainly evening out to where it was looking like Raz might be able to turn it around to a swing victory, but as far as a follow-up, now Raz starting to move up, clear a little bit of the field, playing a little bit of Observer Light. That's kind of the problem with that shuttle style and why Terran have been able to punish it, is because you're, when you're, the robotics facility can only build so much, so by in-building shuttles that reduces the amount of Observers you can really have out in the field. I'm wondering if actually you press faster range and speed upgrades. If that still makes it... Wow, that's kind of an interesting effect. That Reaver hugging all the probes as it makes their way by. Raz scooping up a shuttle. He does have shuttle speed. Uh, yeah, that shuttle speed, keep in mind. And we do see a drop follow up from Gypsy. He's got two vultures and a siege tank. That could very... That this could critically punish the bottom left as Raz moving up midfield, completely out of position with a significant amount of troops. So we'll have to rely on a troop cycle out of these six gateways to either defend that third or if... Gypsy presses forward, maybe even drop at that natural expansion. Forge dropping, no cannons yet. And Raz has not yet pulled the trigger to press up aggressively. There's a lot of siege tanks to push this back. A handful of mines in between. But now the drop, the probe scattering. And Gypsy again maintaining this worker lead. So Raz is doing a pretty good job of macroing, keeping the overall troop count lead. But now emptying up that third, drawing a significant portion of his army back. A single zealot without leg speed yet, clearing several mines. The shuttle going to scoop back to try to provide defense, but while it's doing that, the vulture's able to get to the natural expansion, and it looks like an additional vulture might be able to make it to the main. That one taken care of, solid defense with that zealot. But again, zealot versus vulture tends not to be a winning combo, waiting on that cannon to drop. The vulture actually pinned back here, able to get at least a probe kill, but this has also staved off any sort of aggression towards the front. Now Gypsy, He's got that command center waiting, has added some additional factories up to five. It looks like he's adding that sixth. But Raz in a good position with his army count to potentially deny and create some frustration along that troop lining. He does need to filter out the probes back to the third. And it looks like right now is maybe forgetting to do so. Okay, now getting those probes back out. That's critical. Command center floating out. He knows an army's out there. So this is critical moments here. Go ahead and zoom out where Gypsy needs to move out very, very carefully. Raz sees the units starting to make their way. Forward spotting with the engineering bay in that barracks for Gypsy. And you can see Raz just sitting on the edge. Observer dies to the front. Comsat not finding the army as of yet. Now Raz moving that army up. Few mines planted, but the siege tanks look like they have sieged in time. Shuttle making its way forward. It does drop the Reaver, but the Reaver not able to get a shot up, and it was too far forward of the rest of the army. So now Raz committing that army, and he's doing kind of a classic Protoss blunder where the army engagement isn't going to pan out and just dedicating all the troops instead and ends up losing that army. And actually, GG's right there, which I think he still had a fighting chance. 
overall might have been able to remax and make something happen down the line. But, or actually, I, I take that back. Gypsy probably would have... A defensive Terran might have uh, just sieged and taken the third here. Gypsy uh, might have just gone for the kill uh, after this, and really Raz didn't have much of an army to defend past this. But anyway, oh man, Raz maybe like one or two components off actually taking that match, but Gypsy showing why he's such a fierce competitor, able to seize it and take the victory, continue in the winner's bracket. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.